Hey guys, what's going on? Chad back with you on the RC Miles and More channel. After upgrading the firmware to the latest version on the DJI Mavic and the DJI Go 4 app, I went for a couple flights and I noticed that my Mavic was not as steady as it normally was. So I'm going to do an IMU calibration on it. It's cold here. It's about 20 some degrees. I've had the Mavic sitting outside. <clears throat> it's always best to do an IMU calibration cold. So that way you don't have to wait for the Mavic uh, IMUs to warm up when you're getting ready to fly. Uh, very important that gimbal lock and everything is all off. All the covers and everything that you're connected to the go app and such and you want to do this as quickly as possible because they do heat up fast so we are going to turn on the mavic we already have the go app on and as soon as i get a picture i am going to go into the little aircraft tab up here. I'm going to scroll down to advanced settings, sensors, and if you look at these uh, IMUs, they were all the way here to the left. Now they're pretty far over. So I'm going to click on calibrate IMU. It's going to say put it on a flat and level surface, which it is. And then I'm going to click on Start Calibration. So now basically it's going to do its thing here. And you want to make sure you have a steady surface, that you're not touching anything. And just let it do its thing there. You're going to have to position it in a few different positions uh, to calibrate everything. Now I'm not one that's normally for doing calibrations all the time. I've owned plenty of DJI products and I've never had to do them uh, very often. I usually only calibrate my compass whenever I go somewhere that's, I don't know, 100, 150 miles away from uh, where I'm at, which is not very often. And I always check my values before I fly. Um, but as you saw from the previous footage, I was uh, getting some pretty big bobbles. And I never had that before with the Mavic. So let's just try this out. <clears throat> so this is all in real time. It's just going to take a couple minutes. So besides that, everything else has been flying well. I've not had any problems with my Mavic up until now. I've flown it in a lot windier conditions than uh, I flew it in actually today. Not as cold as conditions, that's for sure, now that there's uh, snow on the ground. But that shouldn't have anything to do with it at all. So we're almost done with the first step here. Okay, now it says to rotate the Mavic on its side. So it's laying on its side now. Now it says to put it to I need to put it the other side. 
No, I just need to leave it sit like this. I've done this once. But it did not take this long. So, let me rotate it over. That's what it needed. <clears throat> Point it straight up. Point it straight up. Now lay it on its top. Laying it on its top. IMU calibration complete. Flip it over here. Back to camera. And those values are a lot better. The green line <clears throat> looks the same, but you can see the values, the accuracies are down to 0 .001, 0 .001, and mine were creeping up there. Compass, of course, I'm getting tons of interference inside here. So that's not a big deal. Um, the other thing you want to do after you do this that I've noticed is that you do want to do a gimbal auto calibration. So we go into the camera, click on gimbal auto calibration, make sure it's level, which I know it is, and nothing is touching it. Click OK calibrating gimbal and the gimbal is basically just going to start turning and flopping around 68 percent 73 88 gimbal calibrated Put this on auto so you can actually see me um, then the last thing we're going to do is what we'll to do a compass calibration outside, but we got to power off the Mavic and let's do a stick calibration while we're in here too, just for the hell of it. Make sure everything's in the center, click start. Okay. It's the longest stick calibration ever. They really need to work on that. I just kind of go back and forth and you got to color in the outside lines almost there roll dial finish all right so now we can see that 
everything seems to be good on that so everything uh, is calibrated and uh, I guess we will uh, go outside and uh, give it a fly and see how it goes be right back 